It's really cold today. That looks like, what, 30 degrees? Just uh, looks like three degrees Celsius. Got down to one degree. Let's reset this. Let's see here. Oops, not that one. It's the inner one. And, uh, bring this one back up. And uh, now we'll be able to see the min max. Look at the humidity. Up around 80%. Last night, and, um, <clears throat> you know, but we still got some things. I need to get this stuff off today because uh, we're going to have a bad killing frost on Wednesday. And I've got some cardboard to lay out. Let's check in the greenhouse. I've got some issues going on here. Let's see. This plant is absolutely getting eaten alive by, uh, this is the Myers lemon and citrus in a greenhouse. You really have to spray it because uh, it just, the everybody loves to eat citrus for some reason, even the animals. Jalapeno potato, rose cuttings. We gotta do something, we gotta get this garlic in. I think we need to wait until after Wednesday though. So here's the plan. We've got this set of seeds that we gathered. We were up in Illinois uh, around Bloomington at a place that a friend of mine has and I uh, spent some time with some friends and gathered some seed from some North. This is hickory and uh, red oak. And then the, the real treasure of what we were able to share with each other. And I'm very thankful for is these strawberries. We're going to get these strawberries ready for the winter as well. Before we do that though, we really need to take care of the citrus. I've got my Nemo sprayer and it's got some residual soap and water in it where I was fighting wasps. But, um, good. Our Neem, I thought that I was gonna have to warm it up. Uh, this is Neem oil. It's cold, it's pure and filtered, cold pressed. Uh, the reason that's important is neem oil, the fats in the neem oil is, is the active ingredient. And this has a, a about a half inch layer of fat that comes on this neem oil when it gets cool. I thought I was going to have to warm it up before I put it in here. And um, <clears throat> it looks like I'm not going to have to do that. But I'm going to put like a couple of tablespoons of neem oil into this container and then finish filling it up. It's already got the soap. So I won't have to worry about the soap in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and mix this neem oil. All right, so I got the uh, spray. I'm just gonna spray the undersides of all the leaves and the tops of the pots of these plants. Really coating them down. I don't want to leave anything uncovered. So the thing about a cooler greenhouse than what the spray actually is, is it will actually create a coating. The neem oil, the neem will actually coat the plant. And it's really soaked down the, the citrus with neem. I'm gonna spray my pepper, also the guava. I sprayed it down also. It's getting some pretty good holes punched in it. A little bit of a new addition to the greenhouse. Uh, I'm gonna make myself some working space here and uh, work on planting these at the potting bench. That's, this has gotta move.
testing the heaters out uh, tonight in the greenhouse and I'm gonna check and see how low we get tonight with these heaters on just to test before we get a frost. I think the citrus and the guava will enjoy that. We got a little bit sidetracked today. Um, just doing other stuff. That's just the way it rolls. I did get some hedge apples when I was visiting with uh, Chris and Tanya in Illinois, and I'm very appreciative to be able to get these. A little bummed that I didn't manage to score any lavender seed, but that's okay. Lavender's always one of those things that's really tough for me to grow. I've still got the hickories and the red oaks to plant up. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a video of my experience with hedge apples. And uh, let's see, what else, what else? I don't know. If you wanna see some seeds that I've ordered, stick around. A little bit of cleaning goes a long way. Cleaned up this grass edge and tidied up the bed. So the, I did decide I am gonna put the garlic in this bed and I've got one more amendment. I was watching uh, Jules over at Jules Small Garden and he was talking about his compost, how much he had made this year. And I, Jules, this is uh, the compost that I dug up at my place this year. This bucket is almost entirely worm casting, but uh, that's the uh, organized compost. Right, let's see if these are even ready to transplant. Yeah, I think uh, we're ready to go on those. So I'm just going to line a line of compost around and uh, give the garlics a little better situation to grow in. Here's one I didn't harvest last year. Plenty of starts here. And there we go. I just uh, outlined this whole bed with a rim of garlic. And uh, my mother, she wants some garlic. I still have enough to give her a bucket. And I've got the, uh, the natural one that I didn't harvest that needs to be planted. It's been about uh, three days since we uh, reset this one. And you can see the temperature range down to zero and uh, up to about 20. So I find it pretty interesting. We'll just reset and see how low we get tonight. I do something with those strawberries the other day. And so I just stuck them in here and maybe um, Let that go a little while longer. Got some sort of little cold crop action going on here. This is why we're here. You can see that the uh, temperature in the greenhouse, you can see the temperature in the greenhouse has been much wider range but it hadn't gotten below zero in, in the greenhouse yet. So we're gonna reset this one as well. Are you really a helper in here? <laughs> 